All right, now that we've seen the axioms and rules in axiomatic semantics, we can try and apply a few of them. Right, so we've done a few of these as exercises in class, but I think it's worth seeing them spelled out again. Uh, again, if you want to breeze through this, if it's all clear to you, that's all right. Otherwise, I think it's, it's helpful to see how these things play out. All right, so our first one here, we have a precondition of a plus one equals six. We have a simple assignment, a is equal a plus one, and our post condition of a equals six. So let's skip ahead and get all the rules up here. Uh, so in this case, of course, we're, we're just gonna use the axiom of uh, assignment. We have an assignment statement. So one thing to note is that when we do these proofs, the structure of the assignment usually tells us what rule to pick. So we either pick the rule that corresponds to the structure of the statement, or we use the rule of consequence to massage a precondition or postcondition into a particular form that we need. So in this case, all right, the axiom of assignment tells us that if I take my postcondition P, this A set equal equals six condition, and I replace A with the expression A plus one, then the precondition we would get is exactly what we're asking for, right? So our proof here is essentially just that, an application of the axiom of assignment. And we would sort of note that that's the rule that we used, all right? So next to the bar, writing the rule that is used is useful for people reading your proofs to, to understand them, all right? So that's, that's our first one. Let's try another one, all right? So this next one, we pop back here to our examples, all right? Is this one of A is equal to five. Our assignment is A set equal to A plus one. And again, our post condition is A is equal to six. Right. And so something's a little different here, right? That we note that you know, the precondition and the postcondition are such that when we use the axiom of assignment, now on the screen, we use the axiom of assignment with our existing postcondition, we're gonna get the precondition we saw in the previous example. And then we can use the rule of consequence, the last one on the screen over here and massage that precondition. So one thing that we want to keep in mind here is that generating these proofs is a two-step process. All right, so our first step one is a discover, a discovery process. All right, so this is an exploration, trying to figure out what the pieces are and how to put them together. The second step is then writing up the proof, right? So we shouldn't expect to do these assignments or these problems in one go, that given the problem, we can just write the proof down in a nice style on paper. What we usually wanna do is first sketch the proof, try some things out, understand the problem, and once we've done a fair amount of work on scratch paper, then we can go back and compose the proof from those pieces. So let's go back to this example here uh, that we, we started with and say, well, we have an assignment, so we really know we're going to have to apply the axiom of assignment somewhere. All right, so if we do apply the axiom of assignment, we're going to get exactly this. So I'm just going to copy it from what we had above, right, and say, okay, if I use the axiom of assignment, this is my, my precondition that gets generated, but we would like to use this rule of consequence. Oops. All right. Sorry, here we are. And somehow strengthen the precondition, right? In this case, we're not really strengthening it. We're just changing it to be something that's equivalent, right? But what we want to realize here is that if A is equal to five, that implies that A plus one is equal to six, right? This is not uh, rocket science. It's pretty straightforward, but this is the, the technical step we need to go through uh, to make our particular change. Right, so I'm writing this in the wrong place. So we have that axiom of assignment. We have this condition along with what we've shown before, right, which is this. Right? So if we were building our proof tree, we can think of 
I'm going to run out of space here a little bit, but we're going to have the axiom of assignment that fits over this part, and I'm going to erase the descriptor here to make it clear. But now we have another bar that has two components, right? and this corresponds to the, the rule of consequence. So we'll stick that note over here. And so now what we have is a proof tree. At the root, at the bottom, is the thing we really want to show that given a precondition A equals 5, we execute this assignment, we get a postcondition A equals 6. And we see this happens in two steps. We have an application of the axiom of semantics, axiom of uh, assignment, rather, and then also an application of the rule of consequence. And so we do some discovery process, as you saw on the screen, and then we organize this into a nice, nice way so we can write up the proof and make it legible so others can read it. So these are our two steps. We'll uh, pause this video and start a next one with the other examples.